this is what I would have done differently. Studying for school is not the same as studying for step one or studying for any of your board exams. It's just not. Hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is Trey and I'm a fourth year medical student in lovely Atlanta Georgia and I make videos about medical school and just my life in general so today's video I've held off on doing for a really long time um, and mostly because to be completely honest I was not happy with my step one score um and i have to remind myself that i was being kind of like type a about it like it's definitely not a bad score but it's not what i was hoping for or what i thought i would get so i think i was like a little embarrassed and didn't want to share um but i think that you guys can learn a lot from you know how i studied and i ended up changing a lot of my study strategy and did really well on step two so Without further ado, I'll just go ahead and start this video off by sharing my scores. So on step one, I scored a 232, and on step two, I scored a 250. Typically, um, around average score for step one is like 228 to 230-ish, so I was just a little bit above average. And then typically, you score about 10 points higher on step two, because step two is a little bit, I would say, easier. Um, so I scored 250, which was well above 10 points increase. So I guess for me, it's confirmation that I could have done better on step one, but that's neither here or there. Even with my step one score, I've gotten some really good interview in invites for internal. So I'm not even mad. So just to start off, I think that going into step one, I... I don't want to say I didn't take it serious, but I think for me, first off, I knew I wanted to do internal, so I knew I didn't have to score crazy high to be able to match into internal. Secondly, my school was telling me that my predicted score was like a 240, and that was based off of how I, this is what I would have done differently. Studying for school is not the same as studying for step one or studying for any of your board exams it's just not um even the practice mbmes i mean i was scoring like around average on those so i would say those were a better indication um of what the actual exam is like but i feel like the best thing is to do as many questions as possible which is why i told you guys to do studying for the mcat why i didn't do that or why i didn't take them seriously I don't know so I would have definitely gone through you world and done the questions and taken the time even if I got the answer right to see why the answer is right and make sure that my thinking is the same as the correct thinking to get to the correct answer because all they're going to do is they're going to ask you the same stuff but they're going to ask it to you in different ways and just because you got it right on that question doesn't mean you'll get it right on the next question if your foundation of knowledge is not the same so i would have done that i would have started going using first aid probably even during the end of first year or the beginning of second year and um making notes in first aid during, from class and then when I get questions wrong on UWorld also going through first aid rereading that section and making notes like you just have to solidify things as many times as possible which is not what I did also the sketchy micro that I was using was an older version because it was free I was being super cheap during this whole step one studying experience so I definitely would have um either purchase a more up-to-date sketchy because I felt like on my test a lot of the micro I didn't even know what the organisms were had never even heard of them um, but I didn't completely go through the micro section in first aid either so either use the old sketchy and go through first aid for real for real multiple times that their micro section or buy the newer 
sketchy and then just kind of you know go through the micro section in first aid but you probably wouldn't have to go through it as much since you would have the newer sketchy sketchy farm and me just don't get along but a lot of people do use sketchy farm for farm farm honestly wasn't that horrible for me so no recommendations there now here's the big thing Going through stuff from first year, which for me was mostly the struggle was biochem and anatomy, which my test had a lot of biochem and a lot of anatomy on it. It probably would have been better for me to purchase some type of review program for step one. Um, whether it's like doctors in training or Kaplan or just something. Um, just to review those topics from first year that I didn't have as much of a grasp on as I thought I did. Because I think that was the difference for me between a 232 and a 240. Because um, I just kind of was like the first year stuff, I glossed over it. I tried to do like some high yield review, but I just did not, um, I didn't have a solid foundation in it. And I think as far as path, pathology, pathophys, all those things that we learned second year, I felt pretty confident with those. Um, so and I think that that showed in my step two score because obviously step two is more pathology and then first line treatment kind of thing more clinical knowledge and I'm fine with that so I think it was really the first year stuff that kind of screwed me over so yeah um so I would have considered buying some type of resource to review to be completely honest the only thing I bought was this <laughs> this is the only thing I bought during my step one study experience. Now let's talk about step two. What I did differently um, and what I think made a huge difference. So the first thing is, like I said, I took UWorld way more serious. Um, and, and looking at other people and what they used to say for step two, everyone just said UWorld is like holy grail for step two. So that's what I did. I did UWorld one and a half times because the other thing is if you do you were all if you do your second pass too close to the first one you're honestly just memorizing the answers so that's not even a benefit so i did one whole time and then i did the half was mostly questions from rotations that i had done early in the year like surgery ob gyn and peds which were also my weaker subject areas um so that's how I did it. I went through every Euro question and I read the explanation for the answer, whether I got it right or wrong. And I mean, obviously I didn't do that for every, 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 every single question. Like if it was a topic that I had done a lot that day and I kind of knew why I got the answer right, then obviously I'm not gonna read it again because you understand it. But if you're like, kind of like, oh, I kind of guessed on that answer, just go back and read the explanation. It's not gonna hurt you. Um, I did use some high yield resources for surgery in peds during my dedicated study time. I took five weeks five serious weeks to study for step two versus step one I only did about I would say four weeks of being serious I also had a puppy during step two studying so I think the fact that I just had a more regimented schedule is what made a big difference um and the biggest thing is during third year do well on your clerkship um shelves shelf exams your practice basically their practice in BMEs for the real thing um, and for that, I would use whatever I needed, whether it was case files in UWorld, mostly that was it. It was case files in UWorld for pretty much every rotation. That's what I used. Or just UWorld alone. I'm just telling you, UWorld is the truth for step two. So as far as things that I would do differently for step two, nothing. I wouldn't have changed it. I was not super stressed during the process. I would do about between 100 and... I did 25 at least 100 questions a day and then some days I'll push it and I'll do 150 some days I'll push it and do 200 um, but that was my main form of setting so I do that in the morning time and then when I would get sleepier towards the end of the day I would use something like master the boards or that's pretty much it um, step up to medicine kind of but it's more in, in depth it's not like going over high yield so I use master of the boards to supplement if there's anything I didn't remember like for OB all the stages of labor and stuff like that but that's it that's 
that's how I did it um so I hope this will be helpful for you guys whether you're studying for step one right now or studying for step two I'll leave the timestamps for when I start talking about each of them um but yeah don't stress yourself out too much. I think step one is so overemphasized and not really that important. I think step two is way more of a reflection of your potential as a healthcare provider, but that's all another video. Um, so yeah, make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe, all those lovely things. And if you have any 